Hello and welcome back to the Nerps Place Tales from the Borderlands. We're still trying to figure out this decision. Do I want to cut her out of the deal or make her head spin? Ooh, decisions. I want it. All of it out. Holy crap. Oh no, this. This didn't happen. You just got cut out of the deal. With a knife? Yeah. <laughs> that's not how it works. And that's not how it went. She put that gun yep. on your face and you went all... Keep talking. The truth this time. Fine. But where was I? <laughs> you were in the middle of this. I was getting Gordas back. Lodobot, save us! Oh, never mind. A female. She's going all Captain America on all of them. Holy crap. Not here. We gotta go. This isn't okay. over. You're the one leaving. Looks over to me. No. It'll feel much different than this. I let you know when it happens. Okay. All right, now we have to deal with Athena. Holy crap. Tell me, are you all... Just completely stupid. Yep, Is this a trick question. some sort of trick question? Cause I don't see. I am here to help you, you idiots. What? Oh. Athena's on our side. Holy crap. This is easily the most annoying contract I've ever taken. Oh, at least if it was an assassination, I'd have the pleasure of a kill at the end of it. Oh, well, I'm so sorry for the inconvenience. Who even hired you? A man named Felix. What? I normally don't divulge that kind of information, but he wanted you to know. So why, why didn't you, you say so? Tell us that earlier. It's not exactly something you scream down an alley when you've got Valerie's goons running around. My work requires some discretion. So, you're, what, our bodyguard or something? Thankfully, no. More, God, I don't know, a mentor? Felix wanted me to pass along some knowledge. To help you survive, he felt you two had some untapped potential. Oh, well, Fiona, he was just thinking about our untapped potential. So, uh, Athena, was that before or after he decided to rip us off and abandon us in the desert with a price out on our head? We'll see how this goes. Keep an eye on her, Sasha. It's usually better not to say that stuff in front of the person you're talking about. Oh, is this part of the mentoring? I didn't know we were starting already. Ugh. <laughs> Look, I know you two have been through a lot. But I assure you I'm here to help. And I don't anticipate that'll be very long, because when I feel the contract is filled, I'll be out of your lives. So let's just get through this. She's gonna well, die horribly. Welcome right? aboard, she? I guess. Thank you. So, uh... What's up with your friend? <laughs> you got hit with some sort of paralyzing shot. I mean, he's stiff as a board, but he's he's fine. Otherwise, <laughs> yeah, that was probably a board choice. Oh yeah, I think I got something. What you got? Yay, little bot. He's alive. I don't know, but I I found out there's an on button somewhere. You've been looking at that thing for like 20 minutes. Well, it's apparently very small. Button. <laughs> 
initiating Gorta startup sequence. Energy chassis required for Vault of the Traveler protocol. Loading coordinates for energy chassis. Energy chassis. Okay. activated. Happy birthday. What? Hi! Wow! Hey! Really great to meet you all. What? I think I was expecting something... different? Cute. You are the freaking cutest robot I've ever seen. Thank you! You're not so bad yourself. Meow. Awesome! Awesome! Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> Your friend is crying. Is he crying because he's sad or because he's happy? I think he's crying because he can't blink. <laughs> oh! We should probably get him some you know, eye drops or something. <laughs> Oh, cool! You've got another robot! It's very nice to meet you. How is your day going? It's a mixed bag. Gordis, hi. <laughs> hi! Why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Okay, where to start? Now, I don't know every detail, but I was created by Atlas as a last-ditch effort to get to the riches of the vault to get a leg up on those Hyperion guys. Well, we are still number one. Atlas had facilities all over Pandora working on the pieces of me to get it done faster. But then, that lady made it a little more difficult to assemble by killing every Atlas employee. Well, uh, how many more pieces are there? No idea. But the next piece we need is... Uh... Oh! Okay. This should be interesting. Now we're gonna put together the full Gordis? Everybody up and at him! Come and on, low up! Time's all wasted! Oh, wow. Yeah, I forgot about Vasquez. Oh my god. Took a shotgun blast to the chest. Uh, Gordis? Hmm? He is, um. Oh, he's. Dead. he's He's dead, Gordis. Oh, that's sad. No, no, he—he he was a—he was a bad person, like, like, really, really bad. Oh, well, <laughs> good riddance then. <laughs> uh, Gordis is adorable. Too, too adorable. Hey, is there a radio in this thing? Okay. Motorbots alive, that's all that matters. <laughs> uh, we have two robots and we have Athena on our team now. Oh boy. Oh yeah, music should be playing here, because it's the opening. Do 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 No, that's that's Legend of Zelda. Um No, that would have been Mario. <laughs> do 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 do. <laughs> Vaughn. <laughs> uh. Oh, that's great. The most epic thing ever. <laughs> Yeah, kind of figured that was going to happen. I wonder what Jack thinks of all of this. Ooh. Eggs and toast. Eggs and toast, eggs and toast. Loaderbot can play poker? <laughs> Vaughn is still paralyzed? Wait. They were playing D&D. That's awesome. Holy crap. This is a long cut. 
What? What? Oh, Jack. Megan went to nipples. This is gonna be. This is gonna be an interesting episode, I think. It's only two more after this, really. I don't even know what the hell they're called. So a lot of stuff's gonna happen in this one. How is he still paralyzed? It's been like... It's gotta have been like days! <laughs> hey, kid! Uh, just checking in. Don't want to distract you from the victory lap you're probably taking now that Vasquez is dead, but, uh... You haven't told Athena about me at all, have you? Mm. No, but I plan to. No, but I was going to. Yeah, okay, so uh, here's here's the thing with that. Uh, don't do that. She'll actually just cut your head off before you can even explain yourself. <laughs> Not even exaggerating. She really, really doesn't like me. Okay, look, kiddo. Stop calling me kiddo, please. Who are you talking to? Uh, I... <laughs> uh, Alright, fine. And ow, 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 ow. Sorry, 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 sorry. But I mean it. She's really gonna kill us. Hey, what, what, what do you say we go to the roof? Lostport? The nice, warm, vault hunter free roof. Oh, yeah. Okay, so Athena's a vault <laughs> I suddenly need to go to the roof. <gasps> I wonder Listen, if she's gonna you're be probably gonna die. You know that, right? And I'm not talking about Athena here. I'm, I'm just saying, like, in general. General sort of impending death. Oh, okay. Is this about me not letting you take over my cybernetics? Yeah, it's about that. You trusted that floozy with a flashbang over your old pal Jack here, and look where I got you. I could have grabbed that drone before he turned your buddy into a coat rack. I am uh, detecting a little lack of trust here, pal. What's going on, Tick Tock? Uh... Why'd you go with what's or nuts' plan instead of mine, huh? Your brain fall out of your head? Well, you know, I'm just not really into that whole mass killing thing. Oh, oh, yeah, totally. Well, in that case, I've got some fun news for you. And this is hot off the presses. You're definitely gonna die! You know what? Fiona's plan didn't include mass murder, and it worked out okay. Oh, yeah? Yeah, what was that plan, exactly? Uh, throw a flashbang and then sort of run in a random direction. Oh, that sounds like a great long-term strategy. You guys are a couple of freaking geniuses. Look, you don't trust me, I get it. But let me spoil the big secret about surviving on Pandora for you. It's not about who's got the biggest gun, it's about teamwork. And more than that, it's about compromise. If your old pal Vasquez had just given you your promotion, he wouldn't be dead, would he? Says the dead guy. Yeah. True. All right, true. Yeah, you know what? Let's talk about that. You know why I died? Why is that guy uh. talking to himself? He's going through some things. <laughs> well, because Vault... Because I didn't work with the people I didn't trust. But I just thrown stock options at the Vault Hunters instead of bullets, I'd be on a beach right now doing disturbingly graphic things with the local ladies. And if you can't learn to work with the people you want to punch in the throat, well, you're, you're gonna die. Nothing but your pride and a big fat hole in your sternum. <laughs> it sucks. Shit hurts. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, what was that? I, I can't hear you through how dead you are. That was, that was good stuff. What the hell is that? I'm detecting some tension here. Ooh. It's a bummer. We should be pals, you know? I actually see a lot of myself in you. And I know I've done some kind of... Things, but we're a team here, kiddo. And you can even ask Athena. I always look out for my team, so I'm just asking you to trust me here. We've got so much in common. I blackmailed and murdered my way up the Hyperion ladder. You came up with that sick vault right. key deal. Partner up with huh? Jack. I guess we can work together if for now. You see, that wasn't so hard. I won't let you down, kid. Are you gonna freeze? You just made a pal. 
That sounded bad. Yeah, yeah, I just realized that sounded kind of ominous. Like I was going to kill you. I, I didn't actually mean it that way. My bad. Hey, we're pals. <laughs> Everyone's bad. <laughs> that reminds me, though. Since we're going to be stuck with each other for the foreseeable future, I kind of want to know where the hell we're going. You know where we're going. We're following... No, 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 no. Not, not, not like in general, idiot. What is it you want out of all this? Because I am going to help you get it. Uh, you know what? I want all the crap we've been through to be worth something, for one. There's no way in hell I'm just going back to Helios to keep licking slightly shinier boots. Not after all this. Well, now, now there, I can definitely help you. Next time we connect to the Hyperion Echo Net, you just plug me in and I'll redirect some funds your way. My ID's probably still active in the system. I'm telling you. If you and me stick together, you'll be swimming in a pool filled with tiny yachts in no time. Just think about it. Little tiny yachts. Maybe we'll talk later. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about that. You two got pretty chummy. Are all your BFFs murderous monsters? Hmm. Guys, can we just call it for the night? We're not going to find anything in this light. Yeah. All right. I'm curious when we shift to this perspective, or is it the in or is all of it going to be told right here? No, episode five's got to continue up where this is. Maybe your mask. What about it? It hides your identity. That is the definition of a mask, yes. What of it? It implies we would recognize you if you didn't have it on. Maybe it protects me. Maybe I just think it looks cool. Maybe I'm just crazy. Lots of possibilities there. I oh, I can tell you right now. Him. It doesn't look cool. Noted. No, none of the lines I put you on make any sense without you either knowing us or needing us. It's compelling theory. How confident are you in this hunch? I'm curious who this is. What I mean is, do you care to make a wager? I don't make bets when I don't know the outcome. Just thinking out loud. You should do a little less of that. Hmm. Tell me about the dome. I'm done talking for a while. He can fill you in. Hey! What? He wants to know about the dome. Well, the creepy part or the pretty part? All of it. Oh, okay. Well, in that case, first up, loading. Boop. We're going to pause right here. And we'll continue next episode. Thanks for watching. See you then. Bye.